Keeping up to date with the latest apps and games popular with children and young people can be a very challenging thing to do. New apps and games are being released all the time and by the time you get to hear of a particular title, it may no longer be popular and everyone has moved on to the next big thing. Quite often, the first time we hear about a new app or game is when your child asks for it because their friends are all using it. Not wanting your child to be left out, you let them download or buy it without knowing anything about the content or whether it's suitable or not. While a lot of apps and games are made for and targeted towards children, they may still contain inappropriate content that may feature bad language, scenes of a violent or graphic sexual nature, or they run the risk of coming into contact with strangers who might want to do them harm. The way some of most popular apps are used by others often encourage children to misuse or to take unnecessary risk to try and keep up to date and copy the most popular users and influencers. Or maybe you have let your child download the latest app or game because it's free and it's not until you've seen money mysteriously vanish from your bank account that you've realised that free app or game allowed your child to buy and download in-app purchases. Sound familiar? Well, all is not lost and there are some really easy to follow steps, tips and advice you can take to find out all you want to know about the latest apps and games and help keep your children safe. Apps. How to find out more. There are thousands of apps out there and for every popular one there are hundreds of similar ones popping up trying to get you to move on to their platform. This can make keeping up to date tricky at the best of times. Especially with what apps are popular with children and young people who probably use a lot more apps than you and are willing to try new ones. What you need to look out for. What is the recommended age rating of the app? Who is the app popular with? Is it children? Older teenagers or adults? Can your child talk to others through chat or video? Does the app track your location? Does the app have access to your personal information? Are there any hidden costs within the app? Does the app have in-app purchases? Here are our tips to help find out more about apps. Research. First step, use the Google and Apple stores to find out more. They will have all the basic information you need, such as what the app does and the age rating. You will also find reviews from other users, and they will often be the first hint that the app isn't the best. Do a search online. Add the app name into Google and see what comes up. We find that with a bit of creative searching, you can find out all you need to know about a particular app. For example, try adding, is it safe for children? Specialised websites. There are a number of websites out there that will tell you all you need to know. NSPCC NetAware and Internet Matters are two of our favourite websites that provide up-to-date information on the latest apps and games that are popular with children and young people. As well as information on apps, they also have loads of tips and advice on many issues around internet safety, including setting up parental controls. We also have our own website, www.darlington.gov.uk forward slash disp, that's packed with useful information, guides and tips on all things internet safety related. You can even email us if you have a particular issue and we will get back to you and try and help as soon as possible. Video gaming. Playing video games is one of the most popular activities for children and young people to spend their free time. From building new worlds in Minecraft to scoring the winning goal in FIFA or beating all the competition in Fortnite, video games can be a great way to relax and unwind on your own or with friends new and old. Video games are not only played by children and young people though, in fact it's also a very popular pastime for adults as well. Did you know the average age of a video game is around 36 years of age? As avid gamers ourselves, we can speak for hours on the benefits and pleasures of playing video games. However, we also are very aware of the pitfalls and dangers that can sometimes come with them. Parents and carers often tell us that they have no clue what video games their child should or shouldn't be playing, or where to find out more information. Let's be honest, the first time you hear of a game is probably that first time your child asks for it. So here are some of our tips and advice on what to look out for and how to keep your children safe. What to look out for. Is the game age appropriate? Every video game comes with an age rating. In Europe, we use a PEGI age rating ranking system. You can find these in the bottom left corner of the games box. The back of the box will also display the PEGI rating as well as some further details about the type of content that you'll find in the game. For example, the game might have a rating of 18, which means it's suitable for players aged 18 and over. 
the game will contain adult material and this could be scenes of violence, blood and gore, scenes of a sexual nature, adult themes or bad language. If you buy games online, in a game store, the Peggy rating can be found within the game description. You can find out more about Peggy ratings by visiting their website or by downloading the Peggy app. The app is a great tool as you can find out detailed information not only about the age rating but also about the type of content you will find in individual titles. The Peggy app also has some great tips and advice on setting parental controls on games consoles and staying safe while playing online games. One of the best tips for finding out about a game's content and suitability is to use YouTube. Just add the game title into the search bar and you can watch countless videos of the game running. Online games. Many of the most popular games are played online with other people. For instance, did you know Fortnite is played between 100 other players in an online arena? In this arena you can chat to other gamers via text chat or via a gaming headset and microphone. Fortnite is one of the most popular video games in the world and it is played by all ages young and old. If your child is playing Fortnite, then they will be playing along with adults. And not all these adults will play nicely. Sadly, some of these adults may ask for personal information, such as a full name, phone number and address. Some of these adults may send or ask for photos, or send links to inappropriate images and material. One of the biggest issues that face many children and young people whilst playing video games is online bullying. That's why we recommend that you encourage your child to only play and chat with family members and trusted friends that they know. The same goes for adding friends and accepting friend requests. Only add and accept friend requests from people you know. Game rage is a big issue, particularly with children, and many parents and carers tell us about problems with their child becoming so angry and frustrated that they lose their temper, smashing controllers, TVs, consoles, or punching holes in walls or doors. While we accept that games can be difficult and challenging, and lead to the player feeling frustrated and angry, game rage is not normal behaviour, and should never be accepted as if it is. We recommend that you put into play some ground rules on how you expect your children to behave whilst not only playing video games, but using all technology. To help with this, we have developed the Family Media Plan, and that can be used by any family to set up rules within the home on how all technology is used. For example, you can use the plan to set time limits agree rules on using the internet, what behaviour is acceptable and how what consequences there are for breaking the rules. The Family Media Plan can be downloaded along with a guide on how to complete it by visiting our website. Just think that by setting some simple rules for everyone in your home to follow, you can have a big impact on how apps, games and technology is used and in many cases help prevent things going wrong. We also recommend that when things do go wrong that you try your best to approach the issue calmly and don't panic or lose your temper. After all, you want your child to be able to feel that they can come to you when things go wrong and that you will support them. If the child doesn't feel they can come to you, then they are more likely to continue making mistakes or taking risks whilst online. For more information and guidance, please visit our website www.darlington.gov.uk forward slash disp.